everybody, Jason here, and it is that time again, time for another installment of Ghostbusters News Fan Mail, and in this installment, there is a lot, I mean a lot to unbox, but before I do so, a quick heads up, if you happen to have anything you'd like to send in to the Ghostbusters News Headquarters, we got a mailing address, and it is down below in this video's description. Now, with all that said, um, yeah, we, we got a lot to get to today, so... Let's get to it. And the first piece of business, well, it, it's pretty heavy. It's this right here. Now, for those that follow Ilphonic, developers of Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed, you've likely seen this already, as it is a Ghostbusters branded Yeti cooler. Now, from what I gather, Ilphonics, they wanted to send this to me in time for Ghostbusters Day this year, but crossing the border from US to Canada, it got delayed upon delayed. And while I don't really know if I should consider this fan mail, I just would like to send a huge thank you out to Ilphonics for sending this along. Uh, in fact, I've actually uh, put all of this week's fan mail inside the cooler, so let me go ahead and set this down. I'm gonna pop these, uh, these little latches here and uh, open it up. Ooh, that, that sounded nice. Okay, so the first piece of actual fan mail today, it comes from Chad Weaver in Texas. And inside of here, we, we've got ourselves a note, and it reads, Dear Jason, I hope you're doing well. I made a mini unlicensed nuclear accelerator. It's constructed from pink polystyrene, hot glue, paper, and a container and craft foam. Okay, and taking this out of here, oh, that's actually really, really cool. Chad, you are one crafty individual here. I love all the small little detail work you included here. I mean, pretty much everything that's found on the actual pack, it is represented, including some silver weathering there. We got the ribbon cable, all the warning labels. It's even got like the little iron arm there. And uh, Chad, he sent me a message through Facebook and he let me know this was coming. He actually gave me like a little preview image, but in hand, Chad, this is so much larger than I thought it was gonna be. And honestly, um, yeah, again, this looks great. Thank you so much. So coming up next, we've got an envelope here from Clayton in Brooklyn, New York. Don't really know why I said New York like that. I mean, I guess I was trying to do like a Brooklyn accent, but no, just, just no. And it looks like Clayton here has just sent in uh, a, a ton of art. We have this one here of the Ghostbusters title, Hook and Ladder 8, the Proton Pack. We got this one here of the Ecto Containment Unit. And then finally, Egon Spengler's go-to gadget, the PKE Meter. Clayton, I thank you so much for the art. Uh, coming up next here, we've got a box from Nathan in Plate City, Missouri. And inside of here, it's it's a DVD. A DVD of the Ghostbusters fan film, Something Strange. Now this was made by RetroShift Digital, and we actually featured this fan film on GhostbustersNews.com, I believe it was last month. And in addition to the DVD, oh, this is really cool, they sent along a Something Strange poster. So huge thank you goes out to Nathan and everyone at the Something Strange crew. And if you happen to have not watched Something Strange as of yet, we're gonna include a link to that fan film down below in the description. So moving on, we've got another envelope here and this one is from, uh, what do we got here? Brolsma, it says, in Austin, Minnesota. I know of Austin, Texas, not necessarily Austin, Minnesota. All right, so this is from a junior Ghostbusters fan named Caden, and it says, Hi, Jason, I love your videos, and I love your collection. Well, thank you, and, and my collection, it, it thanks you also. I made my closet into a Ghostbusters movie den. My favorite Ghostbusters news video is of Big Slimer. You are my favorite YouTuber. Thank you. He goes on to say, we went to get Twinkies because of your video and also asks, why do I wait for Fridays to do a fan mail? Well, Caden, we no longer do fan mail Fridays. This is just Ghostbusters news fan mail. So yeah, we can drop one of these fan mail videos any day of the week now. It is all about being unpredictable. Caden goes on to ask, which video that you made uh, do you like the best? Uh, I, I would have to say anything when it comes to Slimer's you know, big old booty, you know, like the, the life-size Slimers, those videos were pretty fun there. And uh, actually, the next question, is Slimer's butt your favorite part uh, about Slimer? Yeah. Now, Caden here has included a couple of photos, one of which being a little bit more recent of him holding up the Lego Ghostbusters Afterlife Ecto-1, and then another one here with the inflatable Stay Puff Marshmallow Man when he was five years old. He also included some art here. Uh, I really like this one of Spectral Egon Spengler from the real Ghostbusters. And, um, uh, okay, so he, he drew, 
he drew me and that is a phenomenal rendition of me he drew me pretty much uh i don't know calling out slimer's big bottom i mean this is as true to life as you can get Caden, this this is fantastic i mean seriously this is pretty much just uh, just me and this youtube channel uh, in a nutshell, and um, yeah, you, you you got me perfectly here. I mean, this this looks so much like me. <laughs> oh, this, this is great. Now up next here, we've got a package from the Imperial Tech Shop, and I know what I, I know what this is. Again, I don't really know if I'd consider this one fan mail. Uh, maybe kind of like a sneak peek because the team at Imperial Tech Shop they make upgrade items and upgrade kits for the HasLab Ghostbusters Plasma Series Spengler's Proton Pack and also the Spirit Halloween Proton Pack. And you'll see here, they sent me like a whole box full of things that, um, yeah, I mean, that's, I think, for the power cell. Uh, this, I think, is like, a, like an electronic upgrade kit for, I think, either the Spirit or the HasLab Pack. I don't know. I'm going to have to reach out to Imperial Tech Shop, but again, think of this video as almost like a sneak peek because, uh, yeah, I think we're going to be doing some uh, some Proton Pack upgrades here on the channel in the next couple weeks, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, from there, I've got two envelopes here, both from a Dominic and a Caleb in Hanmer, Ontario, Canada. Uh, I don't know if they're brothers or what, but yeah, I got, got two envelopes here. And the first one we're opening up here, this one is from Caleb, and there is a note. It's got a little funky drawing there, a Slimer going in the ghost trap there with Proton Streams. And it says, thank you for your awesome video. I subscribe to your channel. Well, Caleb, thank you. Caleb has also included a lot more art, including this one here of the disgusting green slime ball Slimer. We've also got this classic of the No Ghost logo. Oh, and this one is great of the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Caleb, you did such an amazing good job on these. There's the containment unit right there. Seriously, you got the skills. And while I do love, you know, like the actual physical, you know, toys and collectibles receiving them in the mail, I think my favorite part is the fan art. Now up next here, we've got uh, something from Dominic. It says, hey, Jason, it's me, Dominic. I hope you like my art. I drew nice photos. I like your videos. Well, Dominic, of course I like your art. We just saw Slimer there. We've got Muncher and Phoebe from Ghostbusters Afterlife. Oh, and we do have more Slimer, uh, the real Ghostbusters rendition of him both angry and happy. More great art of the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man and more great art of the Ghostbusters No Ghost logo. Uh, this one has like a slime look to it. There's also this cute little adorable mini puff here. And then finally, uh, another rendition of Muncher. And this one here is like very brick based, kind of has like a Minecraft quality to it. Really good. We got one last package to take a look at here. And this is from Chris in Cornwall, Prince Edward Island, Canada. And Chris, I know he messaged me through Facebook and uh, okay, yeah, I, I, yeah. Before I get too excited, there is a note. It reads, hi, Jason, my family and I really enjoy watching Ghostbusters news. Thank you. We want to give you our East Coast Busters badge and we made you the... Well, actually, I'll, I'll show you what they made me right here in a second. But first, here is that East Coast Busters badge. The classic, the iconic, no ghost logo there. It says East Coast Busters at the bottom. And then in green, we got, well, Canada's East Coast. And while I certainly do love that patch, um, yeah, I, th I think I love this even more, as it is a recreated rendition of Janine Melnitz's buzzer, or alarm, or push button, what whatever it's called. It's the thing she hits when they get the phone call from the Sedgwick Hotel and the Ghostbusters, you know, they go on their first bust. And these I've seen in fellow fans collections for years and I've always really, really wanted one. So Chris, thank you so much for this. I mean, it looks perfect. I mean, does it, does it work? It, um, it, 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 it doesn't really, it doesn't really work. Sure looks cool though. Now that does it for this episode of Ghostbusters News Fan Mail. As I said at the top of the video, if you happen to have anything you would like to send into the Ghostbusters News headquarters to get featured here, we've got that mailing address and it is down below in this video's description. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, be sure to check out our Patreon page. A link to that is also down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you right back here next time. Spine, your senses don't deceive you. Call up the guys who are ready to believe you. 
The number's 555-2368 But before you call, let's get something straight What do you do when the ghost is busted? Is it the source universally trusted? If you got a case of Ghostbusters blues The cure for sure is Ghostbusters news the guy who's doing the heavy lifting through rumors and gossip